you've got Bridge open, and you've begun adding things into Favorites, and you have a folder open. Now, let's talk about folders just for a quick second. That's not Bridge. You make a folder, you put things in it. The labeling system that you use for your folders can really help, too. But once you've got the folder open, and you look at maybe hundreds of images, and you begin to wonder about organization. Let's talk in this lesson about labels and about ratings, two things that are just going to get us closer to organizing our stuff. Ratings and labels can be found underneath the word label right here. Now, besides the fact you have a one through five star, which is rating, and labels go select, second, approve, review, and to do, don't forget that you do have shortcuts for these because that's going to make it go a whole lot easier. Let's say we come down here and click on this one. I like that image. I really do. That is totally a five-star image, at least in my opinion. So I could come up here, and I could give it five-star. But the shortcut, which is Command-5 on a Macintosh and Control-5 in Windows, will make that process obviously a whole lot easier. Now, another way you can do them is by going to the one that you want to give, say, five stars. And if you can see this, there are five little tiny dots right down here. Let's make this one four star just by clicking right there. So that's a, another way to do it. Now, obviously, if you're doing these one at a time, it's going to be a nightmare. So you come down here a little bit further here. Let's come down. And you like these because they're kind of all landscape pictures. So you select this one right here and hold the shift key down and go to this one because they're contiguous. Let's make these a three star. And that's a command or control number three. And let's come down a little bit further, and you say, well, the images that I want to give four stars to are not next to each other. And that's easy, too. Come over and click on this one, and that's the Control key, of course, in Windows, and the Command key on a Mac, and select the ones that you want, and then do the same thing. We'll give these two star. Just use the shortcut. If you have your filter panel open, the ratings begin appearing right here. We still have 100 that don't have ratings. But we have three that are two star, seven that are three star. You get it. Now, what does that do for me? How does that help me? Well, if you are looking for just the ones that don't have a rating, you can click here. If you're looking for your two star, you can click here. If you're looking for your three star and your four star, you can click there and get all of them. You click again, it turns them off. So the filter panel, once we start doing this, helps us look for what we want in a very quick way. Now, if you come up here, you have a little star. See that right here? If you click it, you can further sort here by stars, as you can see right now, one or more, two or more, whatever you want. Over here, you also have in sorting. If you go here, you can say sort by label. You can say sort manually. Any way that you want to do it, you can select it and move it up and change it right there. Let me show you one more way to add some ratings here. So we go, say, for example, starting with this one here, and I'm going to go all the way to this one. This is a place called Monk's Pond. It's where they used to go and meditate. I want to work on all of those, not just a quick adding on a star rating, but I want to look at them and evaluate them as I go along. So go up to the word View on the pull-down menu and go down to Review, right there, Review Mode. You can use the shortcut, too, Command or Control with the letter B. I love this feature. Use your left and right arrow keys to go through them. They say, hmm, well, I've got these two, and they look pretty much the same. I like this one better because the horizon's more level. This one's more at an angle, so I don't want this one. Press the down arrow key. Now, if you press up, it will come back again. But if you press the down arrow key, it doesn't delete it. It just takes it out of this review mode. Now, remember your shortcuts. You say, that's a five star. Hit it with a shortcut, Command or Control 5. Go to the next one, do the same thing. You can review them. Once you've rated them, I suppose you could actually use the down arrow key and get rid of it and move on to the next. You can press Escape or the little X over here to get out. Now, there is one more thing that we can do, and that is a label. If you go up to the word label, we do have Select, Second, Approved, and Review, and we do have a shortcut for each one of those. But maybe you don't want Select, Second, Approved, and Review or To Do. If you go up to the word Edit on Windows or Adobe Bridge on a Mac, Go down to Preferences and select Labels, and you can change the names. Up to you. Let's get back out of here. If you add a label, what you're doing is you're adding a color. It's a color code. Labels and ratings is just one way out of many in this program to help organize our images.